24, we need to solve an equation involving trig functions, and this is where your identities are really going to come in handy. So the equation we have is 2 cosine of 2x equals negative 3 cosine x minus 1. So what you should first recognize here is that we have cosine x and cosine of 2x. We can't combine single and double angle trig functions. So we need to convert in such a way that we will have only cosine of x. And we can do that by using the following uh, double angle identity. So cosine of 2x, first of all, cosine of 2x has three different identities. But we want the one that will only leave us with cosines because we already have a cosine. So that one would be 2 cosine squared x minus 1. That's one of our identities for the cosine double angle. So we can substitute in for this cosine of 2x. So we get 2 times 2 cosine squared x minus 1. And we leave the right side the same. So now what we want to do is distribute and get everything onto one side because now we have a cosine squared and we have a cosine so we're going to get a quadratic where cosine is acting like our x. So we have 4 cosine squared x minus 2 equals minus 3 cosine x minus 1 and now we're going to get everything onto the left side. <clears throat> So through some simplification here, when you add 1 over there, you're going to get minus 1 equals 0. So this is the form you always want to get these into, because now this is a quadratic equation. You just have cosine uh, as your x, uh, like if you were looking at a standard quadratic. So now we want to try to factor this, and we can definitely do this. So here what we're going to get is... four cosine x and cosine x as our factors, and we need to get plus three and have negative one, so the only way you can do that is if we put minus one and plus one there, because our middle term will be minus one plus four, which gives us the three, and everything works out like that. So now we have two terms that are uh, multiplied together to get zero, so now each term could be zero. So now we have two solutions for cosine of x. We have either Cosine of x is equal to one-fourth from this factor. Or we have cosine of x is equal to negative one from the right factor. And keep in mind that we're solving this on the interval zero to two pi, so we're not going to have general solutions. We're only going to have our, our first couple of solutions. So... Let's, treat, let's do this one first because that's going to be simpler. If we know that cosine of x equals negative 1, there's only one place on the unit circle that happens because cosine is the x-coordinate, so if we're looking at the left of the unit circle, so that would mean that x equals pi. So that's one of our solutions. So that can already narrow down your responses a little bit um, and get rid of a. So now we have our other equation, cosine of x equals 1 fourth. Now, the tricky part here is that 1 fourth is not one of your common ratios. So this is not going to be pi over 6, pi over 3, pi over 2, all the angles that you're familiar with. We're just going to have to write this as our cosine. But here's the problem. Where is cosine positive? If you look at your quadrants here, cosine is positive in quadrant 1 and quadrant 4. So this should have two answers. This should be 1 in quadrant 1 and 1 in quadrant 4, because cosine could be 1 fourth in either of those. So what I'm getting at here is if we write x equals arc cosine of 1 fourth, that is correct. However, that's only one of them. And remember that arc cosine can only can only output answers in the first two quadrants. 
So that's some, one of the, the ranges of the arc trig functions. It's something you're definitely going to need to memorize for this test. So arc cosine can only output in the first two quadrants. So that means that arc cosine of one fourth, or cosine negative one, same thing, that's giving us our quadrant one answer. But we also need the quadrant four answer. So we have to think cosine, arc cosine of one fourth is this angle here, whatever that may be. So our answer in the fourth quadrant is going to be that same angle, but now down in the fourth quadrant. So we just have to think about how do we write that. Well, we can't just put negative arc cosine of one fourth, even though that would be right, because our interval is from zero to pi. So we can only go positive uh, from our zero axis. So what is the, how how do we find this angle here? So we'd be going two pi, and then backwards by arc cosine of one-fourth, which is our angle. So our second answer is going to be 2 pi minus arc cosine of one-fourth. So these two things are both solutions to this equation. This is in quadrant one, this is in quadrant four. So we got three uh, entire solutions here. So we have arc cosine of one-fourth, 2 pi minus arc cosine of one-fourth, and x equals pi. So that would give us then, of course, answer choice D. Uh, of the cosines are written as cosine inverse instead of our cosine, but that's the same thing there. So we have answer choice D here.